have a collect call from Ross Patterson, an inmate at Street Justice Films. All right, so no shit. There I was on this train to Paris. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Everybody knows, okay? All right, here's the Master Chief Bill Wiswiznewski and Zach Kunkel. Every person in the military says, the day I get out, I'm gonna party like it's the end of the world. Yes. I'm gonna be a public defender. Seems how your actual lawyer said, and I quote, fuck him, let him stay in there. So the court assigned me to represent you. Do you know what you're being charged with, or are you too drunk to remember? I'm gonna have to hit that refresh button, my man. Well, how about uh, public intoxication? Do it! Do it! Do it, <laughs> bro. He's gonna fucking do it. <laughs> I'm gonna live forever. <laughs> fuck, not again. What the fuck, man? Matt, give me my NAR4 trauma bag. It looks like you got a sucking ass wound. Disorderly <laughs> 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 conduct. Indecency. Oh, I know. He's gonna fucking do it. Instinct taken, let it. Hey, 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 watch the Prius. Oops, I just Lance Armstrong to Prius. That means I lost the ball in it. <laughs> I bet your car watches the view. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, I bet it gets really good mileage. What? Battery. Oh, shit. I fucking punched Kessel last night. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I fucking love your music. Then show me, Matt. You know that's a fucking dude, right? What? That's a fucking dude. Why? Why do you have to ruin all the fun? Yeah, why do you have to ruin all the fun? <laughs> Henry Kish of Duluth, Minnesota, which is why you're also being charged with a hate crime. <coughs> and that carries with a Class A felony. In order to get it reduced to a Class C misdemeanor, I'd have to tell the court that you were homosexual, which isn't much of a lie based on your sexual advances from last night. Now, I'll take the felony, brother. Too late. I've already plea bargained for you. You'll be out of here at 9 a.m. and it'll count as time served. Notice you just got out of the service. I see a lot of you guys coming through here. Word of advice. Find your next objectives. Something you can live for. Choose a new goal to achieve. Learn from your time in the army. Don't let it dictate the entire rest of your life. I got a plan. I'm gonna get out, make some internet videos, get famous, and probably make a movie one day. Good luck making a living out of that. Next thing you'll tell me is you're making t-shirts for vets and selling them online out of your bedroom. Actually.
Starter. I heard she just turned 18. She's doing fine. She's doing even better without you around her. Fuck you, bitch. Shut up! Oh, it's good to see you again, Matt. Sarcasm. You too, Will Huh? Got you too, huh? <laughs> Fucking rest it all of us. I'm though. sure you're all innocent. Try not to fuck each other in there. It makes a mess. Oh, bravo, Mr. Best. You know how long it's been since I've been locked up in prison? Let me see. Carry the two. That's right. My whole fucking life. Fuck you. How's I supposed to know that? Kesha! A... Henry Kesha, you made bail. Call me for a party and shit. Your love's my drug, bro. <laughs> Yet another great night for Mr. Best. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Hey, Matt. Holy shit, Jack. What's up? Not much. Same old shit. Wait, you weren't even at my party last night, were you? <laughs> no. I got arrested on the way. So, we gonna... We gonna talk about this? Uh, this? I was just fucking around. I can see that. Some wise ass filled her box full of epoxy. I went to Walmart to get the removal, and they arrested me. Did you know it had epoxy in it before you fucked it? I had my suspicions. But everything's speculation until you jam your dick into it. Here's what isn't speculation. If Gene Vandenham were here last night instead of you, we wouldn't fucking be here. Actually, this is exactly where I thought we'd end up. Fuck Gene and fuck you for bringing him up. And why is Rocco in the hallway? We told the guards that he takes prison rules seriously. What the fuck, bro? I ain't gonna fuck anyone. Oh, sweet. We can play who's in my mouth. No fear about right here. Jack, stop fucking the doll. Just hang in there, boys. There's something going on outside. Stay right where you are, all right? Oh, fuck this. Rocco, get out of those handcuffs. Bro, no fucking big ass. Oh, what the fuck is that? Rocco, check your six. Hell yeah! Oh, fucking kill, man. <laughs> Told you, big ass fuck. All right, let's let this out, man. Yeah. Jesus, Rocco, you just T-ball him with a metal pole? What do you want me to do, glue him my fucking dick? Is that what I think it is? Boys, I think our wildest dreams just came true. The motherfucking zombie apocalypse! <laughs> Sweet fucker of the mother. Holy shit, and this fucking awesome! It's Marcus Luttrell! For a second, I thought you were Mark Wahlberg. That little fucker only played me on TV. Stop embarrassing me in front of my friends. Bro, so fucking good you're here, man. I know. Hey, you guys been saving my ass so many times. I'm gonna do it for you. Come on, stack on me. Let's get your frog man up. Don't worry about a thing. Ah! Oh! Ah! 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 Now you motherfuckers, you want some of me? Well, that was a short book. Oh. This is how I'm gonna die? Looks like we're the lone survivors now. <laughs> All right, boys, bring it in. Are you about to go full officer speech? What? No, <laughs> of course not. It's confirmed we're facing some type of zombie apocalypse outside. Are you sure? Right, stay with me, Simple Jack, but judging from our boy here, looks like a blow to the head takes him out. That sounds like pretty standard zombie rules to me. Now, did anybody see any weapons laying around? There's yeah, some billy clubs over there. Someone else chained to the bench. Billy clubs it is. What about a vehicle? The bar is at least 15 miles from here. We're better off hitting the PD impound lot. Yeah, there's some guns and shit over there, too. All right, what's the distance? From here, two, maybe two and a half miles. Oh, shit, that's far. All right, let's maintain 360 degree security. Stay tight. We don't need to take it in the rear. <clears throat> like your mom? That's what she said. <laughs> it's time to bandon ham up. If you speak his name again, I will slap you and your mother's to the 
was just f***ing out. Somebody's jealous. Yeah, he's right, man. I actually kind of like the guy. Come on, even his Lifetime movie was fucking awesome. I can't believe he played himself. sex scene was a bit much. I thought it was tasteful. I had to jerk off twice. The only boner I have right now is for killing zombies. You fucking ready? Let's roll. Every motherfucker going to train will get me through. That's the spirit, bro. Were you in bat? No, I'm more. I'm in Delta. But I was in 4th Battalion. Just want to get back to my men, Sarge. 4th Battalion? Bro, there's only three. I, I was in Special Force. I I mean, I, a top secret. Wait, I know this guy. What? He's not in the military. He's an airsofter that works at the DMV. Oh, oh. Well, fuck Stolen Valor and fuck the DMV. Oh. Ah! 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 You motherfucker! Bitches, get bit. Hey guys, get over here. What? Range 15. You have to get to range 15. What's range 15? Let's keep moving and stick together. Jack, you're already doing a good job with that. Yeah. <sighs> Wanna get wet? I haven't turned all the way yet. Looks just like a girl I used to fuck in college. Rock him. That, that's disgusting. All right, all right. No? <sighs> Is there anyone in there? We're not infected. Move it along, shit necks. There's nothing here for you. Whoa. Please, just let us in. We're survivors. We just killed a shit ton of zombies. Oh, did you? Cool story. So did we. Look, guys, we're just trying to stay alive, OK? If you let you and Mexican Jay Leno in, you'll just steal all of our ammo. <laughs> Why would you say that? Listen, I'm not going to give a gun to his chin. If you just let us have a few weapons, maybe a car, we'll be out of your beautiful hair. Wait, are you my best? Every last inch. <laughs> we totally fucked last week. Of course you did. That's right. What's up, Ely? Eliza. Can we rekindle this romance inside? Hang on. Oh my god, it's so big it wouldn't even go all the way in. Eliza, the beard and that tattoo. What did I tell you? I love douchebags. All right, fine. We'll open the door. All right, spread those cheeks. I'm going in. Unlock me? Oh, shit, Evan, what the hell are you doing chained up in the police armory? Cruised over here to grab some gats when these fucking dirty sluts rolled me up. This little hipster-looking 
fuck wouldn't share any weapons, and I had to cup him. I love the way your mouth speaks. What the fuck is that? Oh, that? That's what I call the grunt pile. It literally looks like seven men scissoring. That's exactly what it is. Where's Where's that? That? I know I'm stating the obvious here, but you guys are really fucking hot. Like, snap your fingers hot. And you're like the second fattest in the group. Are we good now, bro? I guess. What's range 15? That's where that fucking soldier told us to go. It's a fallback point for an ELE. Wait, are you guys military too? Yeah. I'm ex-IDF and she's my cousin. Wait, you're Israeli? Yeah, I was like screaming in Yiddish the entire time. No offense, but that happens a lot more than you think. A lot more. What's an ELE? Extinction level event, Jack. Hey, man, I'm really impressed. Says it on the map. God damn it. Well, range 15, that's where we need to go. Oh, hey, brilliant fucking idea, tactical Tesla. Here's another one. We need to get weapons, supplies, and we need to check in at the base to see if it's still intact. Thanks, Dad. Prom ended at 11. You guys gonna come with us? No. We're all set. We're just gonna ride this out until we save the world? You guys? Yeah, right. Listen here, oven mitts. There's thousands of them out there, and as badass as you think you are, you won't be able to hold them off forever. Jesus could. Who is this fucking guy? Jesus? He's our Lord and Savior. He died for our sins. Don't look at him. He was Billy Bob standing in Sling Blade, but that's completely irrelevant. I'll protect you. And I will never fuck you. We'll go. But if shit goes down, we're hiding behind the crimson chin here. Hey, what's with all the chin tricks? That goddamn thing is huge. It's like, do you have to drink with a bendy straw or Can we stop playing fuck fuck goose and just gear up? You know what, guys? For once in Nick's life, he's actually fucking right. So who wants a sweet fucking gear up montage? Yeah! Yeah! This is really convenient for us. You can do it. You can do it, baby. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. There's no one you can blame but to say Buttfucked by Francis Scott Key. Is there ever any dialogue between you two that doesn't involve homosexual undertone? Not one single time. <laughs> Holy shit! Zombies, one o'clock! I 
see trees of green Red roses too I see them blue For me and you And I think to myself What a wonderful world The colors of the rainbow So pretty in the sky Are also on the faces Of people going by I see friends shaking hands Saying how they do They're really saying I love you I hear babies cry I'll take Camaros! Bro, this isn't swingers. We're not taking 30 cars. What do you suggest? We could take the whiskey truck that they confiscated the night I got arrested. I'll drive. You sure you don't want to put your dick in it first? If he did, I bet he'd fill it up with premium. It's like you're living inside of me! <laughs> Bro, she's never gonna fuck you. Oh. All right. Evan, what the fuck are you doing? Taking a piss! <laughs> Hey, on a scale from Chef the Tip, how much did that fucker get? Shut up! Get over here and help me! Come on, Evan! Quit dicking around! Fuck you! Hey, bro! You really got the shell! This is worse than syphilis! Fuck you! Just fucking kill me! No, bro, we're gonna let you turn and then feed you your own dick, you cocksucker! Fuck you, man! Kill me. Hey, no, bro, I'm just kidding. I'll kill you. Just like old Yeller. You guys ready? Let's go. To the whiskey truck. Hey, man, be careful in there. Do me a favor, grab your rifle. <coughs> you see where you are? I'm pretty sure it's abandoned. Anyone else? Anything that rhymes with beer. <laughs> it's great to see that the zombie fucking apocalypse hasn't changed you. Grab me some kill clip. Got it. I'll take some goldfish. That's a children's snack, you fat fuck. I do have a boyish quality oh, about God. it. And it shines through like heaven's light onto all of us. Anyone else? Seriously, man, stay away from the glass. I don't want you getting yanked through. Bro, you see how fucking big I am? You know how big a motherfucker would have to be to fucking pull me through a window? Surprisingly, I'm with Nick on this one, because if this was a zombie movie, you'd be getting ripped through that glass right about now. Matt, this is a zombie movie. Motherfucker, oh. let's go, let's go, let's go. Shit, did you see the size of that motherfucking zombie? Fucking men. Are you infected? Answer me! Ah, oh, you tell me, dude. Whoa, you gonna shoot me for stealing it? What? That's right, I'm drinking Slurpees for free and shit. What up? Lights were out, so I came in to get mine. Know what I'm saying? Hey, fuckstick, it's the zombie fucking apocalypse. You can literally take anything in here if you want it. Oh, shit, for real? <sighs> yeah, it's hot in here. Oh, that's why I stripped down. Skin's a natural coolant, my uncle says. Level with me, bro. Just for real free free? Cause I kind of feel like I'm being mind tricked here. Motherfucker, get the fuck out! Whoa, 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 man. Hey, 
Hey, dull dick. You look like Randy Quaid with Down syndrome. Randy Quaid is an American legend. I love Tim and Caddy Shack too! <laughs> He's a zombie, I get to kill him. He's my fucking friend. Doesn't matter, I called him. He's like a 12 point buck. Oh my fucking god. Uh, Jesus, it's happening. Oh, Christ, what the fuck? You guys wanna give me a fucking minute? For the first time in my life, I have no words. Is it weird that I'm kind of into it? You have a doll glued to your cock, Jack, so no, not really. This is some barrack shit. I'm gonna get some freedom fudge. I'll get some with you, too. Don't tell Heather! <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> is there supposed to be that much blood? I hope so. Oh, shit! Yeah. Fuck! Okay, I'm good. Time to go, Jack. <laughs> Ready, zombie fucker? What, bro? That's some bucket list type shit. For who, a necrophilia? Oh, come on, she didn't look that dead. Agreed. Kidding. I want you to know I'm a perfect gentleman and I would never fuck a zombie. So what if I turned into a zombie? Would you fuck me? Why? Do you want to turn into a zombie and have sex with me? See? What? I was answering a question with a question. This bitch got enough gas to get us to base, you think? I hope so, man. I don't think I can handle seeing another zombie get fucked. I've seen worse, bro. You'll be all right. Thailand? Yeah. I can't believe you just fucking did that. <laughs> I'm telling you, I fell in love in a hopeless place. <laughs> did you seriously just quote a Rihanna song to describe sex with a zombie? I feel like I'm her Chris Brown, you know? <laughs> you didn't beat her as much. Terrible euphemism. Seriously? You know, I'm not ashamed. The heart wants what the heart wants. <laughs> Drink it! What the fuck, bro? It's a bad batch. He put viper semen in it! Well, a scientist did. Since when is a scientist part of a distillery? You see, my dad's old army buddy is an amateur scientist. He's the only one we knew that could distill whiskey. This was our first batch. An amateur scientist? That would be like using an amateur bomb tech. That just shouldn't be a thing. Is that toxic shit even drinkable? I'm gonna go with the soft maybe. Fuck. We got trouble up ahead! I don't think we can get around this shit, man. You glorious fucks cover me! I'll move the Humvee! Now, where the fuck are the keys? Fucking Humvees shouldn't have keys.
Oh, shit! Guys, hold your fire! Holy shit! Viper semen forever! What happened? Amateur scientist for the win. I think we just found ourselves a cure. You've got to be shitting me. <laughs> nope! Well, if the colonel's still alive, we gotta get it to him ASAP. I cannot wait to see the look on his face when he finds out that the cure for the zombie apocalypse came from you. Shit is gonna be good, my friend. Let's go buttfuck some zombies. Get back in your vehicle. This is a secure government installation, and you cannot walk around here without a PT belt. Easy there, high speed. This is my safety. No PT belt, no access, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was just testing you, and you passed. Now, I don't have any PT belts, but what I do have is some challenge coins. Huh? Huh? Is that real? Are those real? No, though? they're real, my friend. Fuck out All right, of here. there we go. Oh, man! There we go. Real. Now, is the colonel here, and more importantly, is he alive? Yeah, he's alive. He's in. He's at the, the jock. Can we keep these? <laughs> All yours. Let's uh, let's open that gate then, yeah? Okay, yeah. Oh, hua. <laughs> All right. Just kind of... Just kind of put your oh, back into it. that way? No. It's a new gate! No, it's not. Oh, I got it! I got it! What the fuck just happened? The army's real weird about PT belts. <laughs> so to keep you safe, they were going to shoot you. Yeah. And they did it because of coins. You've got to understand, challenge coins are like pogue kryptonite. They're defenseless to their power. As you can tell by shit for I want no more excuses. I want to hit them. I want to know how many are out there. I want to know who's on us. What the fuck do we have here? <laughs> that fucking best. Colonel? Is that a blow-up doll you got glued to your cock there, son? <laughs> sort of. You see, I fell down with my pants unzipped, and I just kind of... Oh, shut the fuck up! All right. Now, gentlemen, stand down. Let me have a moment with this guy alone. Sure. All right. Colonel, it's been a minute. How you been? I'm surprised that you two asshats are still alive. And we found a cure. Are you serious? Serious as a heart attack, my friend. In my office now, Mr. Best. Got it. Uh, you stay here, go, my pile. Love what you've done with the place, Colonel. It's very, uh, restoration hardware meets mash. Oh, zip, you dick! We found a cure is about the only words you could have used to prevent me from putting my foot in your ass. What's with the hostility, sir? Really? You didn't fuck my armless daughter? <gasps> this is way better than a hand job! Daddy? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I would have remembered that. Yeah. Hey, Daddy, do you have the barracks keys? Coming in hot. What the stump fuck? Look at my daughter, Sergeant Best. Doesn't ring a bell still? It's nice to see you from the front. What is it, Mary? Uh, that special ops guy is in the mess hall for you. Well, tell him I still need a minute. OK. So tell me about this cure. Why don't you tell me how it happened? This isn't fucking Clue. Take shit seriously for once in your life, Matt. A plane crashed coming in from overseas. Now, we don't know if it was on purpose or if a passenger unknowingly had the virus and spread it. The disease spread like herpes in a Fort Bragg barracks. Right now, all we need to do is contain it. Candlestick library, go. Well, as crazy as it sounds, the uh, guys and I have been distilling whiskey, and uh, let's just say we had a bad crate. Bad crate of distilled whiskey, I'm not following. It was mixed with viper semen? That sounds like a shitty internet video. Well, the plot of a bad movie. <laughs> as ridiculous as it sounds, it's the truth. One of my guys smashed a zombie's head in with the whiskey bottle, and they changed back. Where's this whiskey now? It's safe in the mess hall. With the guy from Of Mice and Men and the chubby one? 
I'd like to consider it the Ranger up in Article 15. Well, I'll have one of my guys grab it and take it over to Range 15. Why don't you just test it here and distribute it amongst the people? Our building was compromised, and most of the scientists were killed. The remaining ones we sent over to Range 15. Well, then we'll just take it to Range 15 ourselves. Oh, shit. I'm not going to leave the fate of the world to you fuck-offs. No offense, Colonel, but I trust us more than I trust your guy. Our guys are fearless. I bet I can fit 14 hot dogs in the middle. I bet I can do 30. Why would you want to do that? Because we're fearless! <laughs> I prefer my guy. And who the fuck is your guy? Sergeant Major Gene Vandenham. Have you heard of him? Yeah, I've fucking heard of him. Fuck Gene. You know all that little motherfucker is, is the little hero? Major Gene Vanningham is America. I fucking love that guy. Everybody loves that guy. Now, that's the kind of man I want to see my daughter with. Hell, that's the kind of guy everybody wants to see their daughter with. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. I've been married for over 38 years now. And if Gene Vanningham asked me to take him in my mouth, I'd honestly consider it. God, man. You and your boys can follow in a convoy behind. That'll be all, Sergeant. And keep your dick in your pants. I love you. Asshole. So what happened? He said their scientists are at range 15, and they want fucking Gene Vanningham to take the whiskey there. And we get to follow along in a sweet fuck train. Fucking bullshit. That's our whiskey. And our vipers, even. Look, Matt, sometimes things can look pretty bleak. But when life gets hard... Nick. You promised. No officer shit, bro. <laughs> all right, all right. Seriously, though, if Gene takes the whiskey, we've got a much better chance of success. And a much better chance none of us get killed. I'm cool with that. I would have protected you. Oh, yeah? Let's see. Go with the world-renowned hero or a guy who shoved 14 hot dogs in his mouth? Dude, you dogged 14? Champion! No, that's not a high-five moment. Every moment's a high-five moment. I'm sorry, I just... You, 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 you just got lost in my eyes? Relax. It doesn't make you gay. It makes you compassionate. Oh, you're so right, Gene. I know. Release. There's my fat bottom girl. Thanks, Guardians of the Galaxy. I'll keep an eye on you in my rear view. Stay close. You too, second. Fuck did you just call me? Seconds. That's your middle name, isn't it? <laughs> Matt's second best. This is like slam poetry. Genius. Get you on the dark side of the moon, cheese squeeze. Keep your ears buttered up while I set fire to the rain. What the fuck does that even mean? You know what it means? You don't know where I've been. Rodney King riots, 1984. 
I'm driving through the streets of C-O-M and T-O-N and the city they call Long Beach when a young African-American says to me, Hey, man, you some kind of G.I. Joe? Mr. Jarhead? I said, so what if I am? And he says, Why don't you suck on my dick and then lick on my bum? Before he could get that S out, I squeezed the trig and blew his brains out. The next day, the riots were over. The moral of the story is this. Why don't you walk 168 miles in my shoes with 16 dead soldiers over your shoulder before you ask me what the fuck that means? Good day, fuck faces. By the way, wear a condom on that dick of yours if you're gonna eye fuck me on the way out like that. This is Gene's world. That guy is such a fucking celebrity cameo. Hey, man, I don't want to fucking be here. Oh. <laughs> hey, Ron Jeremy. Your Indiegogo campaign went so well, you can actually buy people. You're right. You can go, dude. Thanks. Great. Gene's kind of legit. Gene is a douchebag, and he's treating all of us like the fucking B team. Let me go outside and get some fresh air. Let my sack dangle. Grab a pick! I knew before it even came out of my mouth. Matt, can I come with you? I haven't said anything in a while. Sure, Eunice. Happy birthday, Matt James! <sighs> Matt, are you okay? I'm fine, Eleanor. Eliza. Whatever. I just hate that Gene Vanden douche. Everything gets handed over to him like I'm some incompetent clown dick. I don't think you're an incompetent clown, Dick. I think you're a... Intense, strong, intelligent, ripped like a pair of Death Leopard jeans. <laughs> hear it all the time, but Gene's always stealing the spotlight. Oh, you can have the spotlight. You can have two. <laughs> Emily, we shouldn't, but <laughs> we're probably going to anyway, so... Can you do it on my butt? I don't want to get pregnant during the zombie apocalypse. It's kind of hot, actually. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Did you eat popcorn? Yeah, is it sharp? Oh, God. Uh, uh. Oh. Hey, smell. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, shit! You see his jawline? He's like an angel. Oh, man, I have energy. Guy gives me energy by his presence. I want to drink his piss. What? Huh? I'm... Come on, man. That dude always wants to be the tip of the spear, but all I see is a giant blue falcon. Yeah, maybe. But he's got an up-armored Humvee, not to mention a 50 cal. And no one manning it. Fuck that guy. Guys like that are the reason I got out. Shit, man. Guys like that are the reason dudes enlist. What the fuck is this asshole doing now? Zombie! Okay. Definitely could have killed that guy. Sure you could have. Look here, chapstick. I don't need my asshole waxed. A simple thank you, your majesty, would suffice. Not gonna happen, Gene. Smell this fire, Smokey the Bear. The colonel just phoned in my satellite. The zombies are gaining speed. They could overtake our vehicles if we're not careful. According to his intel, they're getting close. Wait, you have a sat phone in your car? I got the 2018 LeBrons in there. They give hand in ham everything. Fuck. The colonel says there's a helicopter pad about 26 miles from here that he wants us to get to so we're not on the road. Change your plans, change your pants. OK, so you want us to follow behind you? Yes, but I'll be on foot. Can you take the whiskey? What the fuck? I need you to take the whiskey, dick, and hold it with two hands. Can you handle that, Soldier of Fortune? I've got the whiskey. 
Someone has to protect us. There's God, then there's me. God must be busy. Lucky for you, I don't think Sunday's off. Bro, <laughs> that's gonna be my next tattoo. I feel like I'm at the altar and Jesus is packing. <laughs> this is all so fucking stupid. Why doesn't one of us man the 50 cal while you drive? For the same reason I baptized myself as a baby. No one guards Gene Van Den Ham but Gene Van Den Ham. Take the whiskey and be grateful I am who I am. Bro, 26 miles is an entire marathon. I know. I ran Boston last year in 146 full kits, setting a new world record. Try and keep up. What the fuck ever, Gene? Fucking Gene Van realize how ridiculously stupid this is and it has nothing to do with necessity just his own glory right sure, sure man but look at that guy he's a one-man killing machine i bet he even nukes those two toddlers over there no dean don't kill the zombie toddlers their mission has been aborted I seriously hope he steps on a landmine like five of them for you, Gene. No offense, but there's an empty seat in every single plane in the United States designated for me. Just remember, when you turn back and see only one set of footprints in the sand, it was then that I carried you. Wheels up! Fuck that dude. Mm -hmm. Good luck getting out of this one, Gene, you cock -tart. I got it! Number two. Pooping! Pooping is number two! It's like every time I try and like you, I just can't. There is no number two, Grigsby. We don't achieve number one, we die. Please refrain. You know how hard that is? Let him say it. Come on, dude. I'm killing the spirit. I'm gonna kill his fucking microphone. <laughs> I can't believe it. We're actually gonna make it. Fuck back! You just jinxed us! What? No, I didn't. Yeah, dude. You did. Give us five seconds, Rain Man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you feeling alright up there, man? You sure you didn't get bit? Yeah, I did. Right before you guys showed up, I could feel it growing inside of me. This is my last mission. I just have one request. If any of you make it, go find my girlfriend. She lives in El Paso. Hello, I love her. But let's be realistic. She's probably dead. What? I mean, come on, it's the end of the world. A bunch of badasses barely making it. A hot girl in El Paso? She's zombie shit by now. Wait, does that shit? Rocco, shut the fuck up! I'm just being honest. He's right. She's dead. And I'm bit. There's nothing to live for. Hey. Name's JT, right? You hold this? You're up. We literally just told him we have the fucking cure.
Fucking kidding me, two. Two? Two fucking bottles? I God damn it! Does. Shut the fuck up. Can we get the cure and keep fucking moving? I'd rather have us fucking carry you. Bro, I gotta take a tackle shit.com. Shut the fuck up and let's go. We gotta get in one of these neighborhoods. <laughs> Salutations. Do you guys like jazz? You truly cannot really enjoy it unless it's on vinyl. That's right. What the fuck? Fuck this. Next house. Yeah, fuck this. Hey, wait, wait. You guys got any supplies we can have? I got something that will make your mustache stand up. Holy shit. <laughs> An anti-gun family that decided to off themselves before they got infected. <laughs> How does that Second Amendment taste now? Everybody <laughs> hates guns until you have to choke fuck yourself to death with a hot curling iron. Touche. Hey, YouTube. This is Chad the Park again. And on today's episode, we're just tick, tick, tick. You tell him, Chaz. I'm just going to unzip my zip here. Without my wee-wee. It's gonna be 14 strikes and we're done. What hey. the fuck is this? Oh, hell no. Back the fuck up. Ah. Ah. Baby killer. With great vengeance and furious anger. Are you guys here for the Bosloops one? After we're gonna have an organic paleo kill peach! Nah, nah, we're, we're good. We're good, bro. Okay, I'll leave it all myself. I'm gonna keep working out. I'll never get fat. Hey, man. You doing all right? Everyone's counting on me for everything. I'm not their leader. I'm not a leader. I'm not. And, and to be completely honest with you, dude, I don't think I can do this shit anymore. I know the weight of the world is on your shoulders right now, but it's there for a reason. Most people quit the second things get hard. You don't. The annals of history are written on the backs of men like you. Men who, when faced with overwhelming odds, when they reached their breaking point, looked into the bowels of hell and smiled. Men who answered the bell for one more round. You're one of those men. We can do this. We can rise up against the impossible, and we can save the world, but we cannot do it without you. We need Matt Best. Oh, <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Got you, motherfucker! West Point speech, bro. <laughs> Fuck off. Did you just come up with that shit on the spot or what? It's what we do. All right, bring it in. Sister, sister, mother to daughter. You son of a... You guys see some gay-ass shit for being in the military. It's Thursday, isn't it? <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> you, it's a love-hate relationship, Nick. It's a hate-hate relationship. I fucking hate you.
she is, boys. That's Strange 15? It's like a power plant. That's the point. <laughs> Long now. Don't talk like that, bro. What the fuck do you want me to say? That everything's gonna be okay? I'm gonna live happily ever after? And you'll come back and fuck me in some convenience store? And dude, she's different, bro. You know what? So am I. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, bro. Just take the cure. They'll only leave us with one left. So what? They're scientists and shit. What is all they need? Yeah, man, you need to take it before it spreads. Are you sure? Yeah, bro, you're changing fast. We're gonna have to administer it <laughs> rectally. Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's crawling up your leg. Drinking it won't be fast enough. Fuck that! I know you motherfuckers are fucking with me. Baby, I don't want to lose you. Just take it. Bro, I'm the medic, man. We got to do this. <sighs> Nick, is this legit? I hate to say it, man, but I don't think we have a choice right now. You motherfuckers better not be fucking with me. Rocco. Brother, you're going to feel a little bit of pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody got anything? Nothing here, bro. Nothing, man. I found something special. No, he didn't. I found Fat Val Kilmer, though. Jack, you got anything? Nothing. Sweet, the Colonel's daughter was easier to enter than range 15. To be fair, bro, she had no arms. At least my zombie girl had arms. <laughs> There's no way you're comparing the two. What are we going to do about getting in this silo? I don't know, these are high up fucking fast. Why, Elsie? Eliza, come on. Guys, we don't have the ammo for this. Bro, we got time for this. Go get us the fuck. Hey, man, I told you, there's no ammo in there. I'm not looking for ammo. The most important thing right now is getting the whiskey into the silo. Are you sure, man? The cure is more important than any one of our lives, all right? Jack, you fucking stupid cunts. Guys! Found the entrance. Push the fucking button. Everybody, let's get inside, quick! Fuck. I'm sorry. Most people don't get to decide how they go out. Today, I do. There's a time to run and a time to fight. And I ain't no bird doll. You must be the brave soldiers that Colonel Hathaway sent. This is the cure? It sure is. This is the cure? What is in this shit? Whiskey, mixed with viper semen, sir. Are you kidding me? No, it's actually a funny story. You see- Oh, I do love a funny story. I will try now. I will see if you are full of shit, which I suspect you are. Oh, you stupid pieces of shit. Get out! Don't let the door hit you in the ass. What the fuck, bro? I've seen this shit work twice already. 
kill you guys to pay attention just once? <gasps> Holy shit! What the fuck just happened? I just saved your life. You see, the whiskey is the primary element needed to cure zombies, but it requires an adequate delivery system. Kill Cliff is that delivery system. Its unique blend of caffeine and vitamins creates a covalent bond shell with the viper semen. It protects it while it infiltrates the zombie cells. I kind of would have thought it been obvious. You pull that here. This man is cured. Kiwi, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Uh, they just get this to the lab. Have them replicate it as fast as possible. It'll be a pleasure and a privilege. And to you, gentlemen, I say bravo. Bravo indeed, Kiwi. It's hard to be excited when you've lost someone, Brown. Oh, that's a whole lot of fucking freedom right there. That's a lot of hard dick right there. Goddamn right. JT on a low-carb diet. <laughs> but then the zombie slain dream team showed up. There's only a few pairs of perfect cheekbones in this world. Would have been a shame to lose yours. Mm. Besides, let you die. What were chinny chinny bang bang and tactical Randy gonna do? It's been a long couple days. Yeah, more should. I hate to break up this little dick dance, but fixed wing assets are showing a horde of zombies heading right this way. Our doors aren't gonna hold them back. Fuck it. Y'all want to get nasty? Fuck yeah! yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, high speed. You're not in proper uniforms. Oh, your haircut is way out of rank. Get your hands out of your pockets. Oh, get your hand wet. Is that a dick hanging out? Hey, I went to college. I'm not afraid of writing you up. Oh, Scott, put that your butthole, you piece of shit. I expect some salute next time, gentlemen. In case we all die, I want you two to know, huge fan. I fucking love you guys. Okay, wait, who are these guys? They're heroes. I'm sorry, heroes of what? Oh, what the fuck? Well, sorry about your friend. Yeah, sorry about your loss and stuff. So I'll take a moment of silence for uh, Beatrice's sacrifice. It's Eliza. Okay, ready to kill some zombies? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, you fucking stupid whore, you fucking annoying bitch. God, you're so gross. <laughs>
hey, uh, why don't we just fucking shoot him? <laughs> that was easy. Oh, fuck, is that Randy Couture? No, it's Zombie Couture. I've got this. Unbelievable. We are here at the sold out Range 15 Arena, and this desert valley is electric. Tim, will you stop dicking around? We don't have any time for shirts. I know. Tim Kennedy versus Zombie Randy Couture is a fight that many people wished for but never thought would actually happen. One has to wonder, though, how being a zombie will affect the former champion. And that's the question everyone's asking, Mike. Randy Couture has always been a very cerebral fighter, but with the lack of a fully functioning frontal lobe, how will this impact his style? I got an idea. Let's do this thing. This fight is brought to you by North American Rescue, Federal Resources Supply Company, and the Extreme Couture GI Foundation. Now, here we go! <laughs> Holy shit, I can't believe this determines how the fucking world ends! Really fucked up! Like, like, really fucked up! Come on, come on, Tim! Come on. <laughs> Kennedy appears to have really been working on his stand-up game, Brian. He looks very alive out there. <laughs> I see what you did there, Mike. Oh, He's rock, Brian. Oh, Kennedy could oh, lose here, and life as we know it could end. Get him. Get him. Mark him. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, never count out Greg Jackson train fighter. Tim Kennedy was born to be underneath other men. Kimura, Brian. But it doesn't really fucking matter because he's a zombie. Gotta admire the toughness of zombie couture. And you really have to hand it to Tim Kennedy here. He's keeping Brandy at arm's length. I got my arm pulled off too. Rip off the other one. Kennedy shoots. And he lands the takedown. Oh, Kennedy's locked in the rear naked choke. That's in deep, Brian. But hey, Couture won't tap. <laughs> Whoa, it is all over. Great heads up move by Tim Kennedy to win that fight and save our ass. Badass shit, Tim. Wait, why the fuck did we leave her guns back there? How else are we gonna have a final epic battle? Wait, epic battle? I am so tired of you guys smashing your dicks together. Fuck this. Just when you thought the night couldn't get any more intense, it's Danny Trejo zombie. Who the fuck saw this coming? <laughs> That's all me over my dead body. You know, Mike, Danny Trejo was a San Quentin boxing yep. champion for five years in two different weight classes. However, one has to wonder what a voracious appetite for human flesh and an inability to feel pain will do for his skill set. Looks once again like we are about to find out. I got this! Tom is making a classic mistake here, Mike, in that he really doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Danny Trejo is a certified badass who now has supernatural powers. He's a little fuck, yeah. isn't he? Good initiative, bad judgment. He's a motherfucking hero now. Man, jumping on a dud doesn't mean shit. Motherfucker! He 
He's hurt, Brian. I put a cat tourniquet on this. Come on. Bring the fuck up. I'm trying. Quit squirting. I got this. Mike, it looks like they're going to go with the team approach now. In the military, we call this an envelopment, where you surround the enemy and force him to fight you on multiple directions. <laughs> or they're just going to go at him one by one. <laughs> like fucking morons. Three shots to the wedding tackle. Brian, it's all over. And then he popped his favorite sex doll. Trejo remains cold <laughs> as ice. Careful, guys. Big as fuck, bro. He can't hurt me. Uh. Wow, Mike, he just chopped him down like a wet pine tree. Is it me, or did you think he'd have a better chin? Well, I, I think he would have had a better chin. We're down to two, and he's taunting them. <sighs> Treo is really a next-level zombie. Yeah, I hate to say it, because it likely means the end of the world, but he's just at a different zombie level right now. Any, many, many. Whoa. Looks like Zombie Treo's identified his next victim, Mike. <laughs> wow. That was just bad. Nah, he's Air Force, Mike. And we're down to one. Well, looks like Nick is rushing Treo. Well, that works out great for Tom. He's teeing off. He won't recover from this. Like a goat at an ISIS convention, Mike. He's fucked. What are we doing? We have to get to a place of observation. The fatal bite. Uh, uh, Saved by Kennedy. Uh, I'm worried here, Mike. Tim is still exhausted from zombie couture. Now, let's not count Kennedy out yet. As a special forces operator, he's been in worse spots than this. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not true. Try ho! Now, wait just one minute. Matt is still up. This guy's kind of growing on me, Brian. Like E. coli on a pig carcass, Mike. <laughs> I loved him in Machete. Clear the six! This is Striker 3-1! Give me some name cans on the remainders! Get it out of me, Sandy! I do it for you! did it. We saved America. America sure is beautiful, isn't she? How beautiful? Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains, majesties above the fruits I want to see every single one of you motherfuckers in the hallway right now! Morning, At ease, you son of a bitch. I can't believe you did it. Can't believe you doubted the team. That's just as well. The president will be coming in at 0900 hours to address the nation. He wants you front and center with him on stage as he makes his speech. Your hero. Sorry, sir, but I'm not going up in that podium without the team. We did this together. Selfless, I like that. You and your entire team can be on stage for the big moment. 
You guys did a great thing for your country. It's only right you should all be there. Thank you, Colonel. No, thank you. You're finally living up to your potential, Matt. And I was wrong about you. You guys have a couple of hours if you want to get something to eat. And if you want to be on stage, I suggest you figure out a way to get that doll off your cock, son. Sir, one more thing. Uh, did you just decide not to shave this morning, or...? It's the end of the world. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm sure the scientists have something to take your doll off your dick, dude. What if I don't want it off? What? What do you mean? There is no glue. It's just Velcro. Tanisha, she's more than a rubber fuck puppet to me. She's therapy. She's my security blanket. My best friend. She's the only person I know that I can really open up to. I mean, really open up to. She doesn't judge me. She just listens. I, I, I had no idea, man. Everybody thought I went to Walmart to get some sort of epoxy remover to get her off my Johnson. But the truth is, I just wanted to take her out of the date. <laughs> I love you, bro. Love you too, man. But I'm gonna need you to get your dick off of me. <laughs> All right. Let me get a little fresh air exposed to it for a minute. All right. Why don't you take a couple and go regroup yourself, right? <laughs> okay. Thanks, bro. It's about a bounce ball. The president is on his way here right now. Yeah, but I have some stuff I gotta take care of, bro. Shit bigger than the president? Yeah. I don't know. Sorry, bro. Hey, you hungry, dude? Yeah, man. Let's go get some Let's roll. food. You guys want anything? Nah, we'll be there in a minute. All right. Crazy couple of days, huh? Yeah, I'm exhausted. So I was thinking, maybe after this whole thing blows over, you and I could like, get away or something? Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. You broke me down. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go to Sandals, Jamaica. We just lay in bed and order room service for fuel to fuck each other's brains out all day, all night. Is that what you want? <laughs> I'll tell you what, you lose a little bit of weight, mm. get yourself down to a cool 185, mm. I'll make that happen. Deal? Oh, yes, deal. Great. You want some food? There is a truckload of freedom fudge outside. Well, we probably shouldn't. But technically, I haven't slept, so it's still my cheat day. Yeah, of course. Sure. In a few moments, the president will speak live about the military containment of the mysterious virus that has plagued the United States and neighboring countries and North and South America for the last three days. It is believed that one of them is responsible for saving mankind. My fellow Americans, as you are all painfully aware, the last few days since the crash of an aircraft carrying an unknown virus have been full of sorrow, heartache, and deep despair. We lost nearly half of our population in the outbreak. And that's a loss. Holy shit, Marcus, you made it? Never Damn right. Marcus the trail. Fucking live forever. Can't you seals just let us have one fucking movie? Absolutely not. Be alive to aggression. I hate to single out individuals, but there is one man whose courage, whose actions, whose tenacity stood head and shoulders above all others. This is a man who truly understands the concept of country before self. It's fucking you, man. It's fucking us. He saved our way of life. He saved America, ladies and gentlemen. Sergeant Major Gene Vandenhecht. I want you to know you're still second best in my eyes. 
I'm proud of the man you might become one day. You know, when I saw that video of Gene taken from one of our space satellites, I just knew that we would have to give him yet another Medal of Honor. Well done, Gene. What marvelous images in the midst of a zombie apocalypse. Gene gets this incredible video. It's as though he took the crew and the camera and shot it himself. Also, there's a promotional video that's going to be out of me killing zombies in about 13 days. It's going to be $69.99. That's eight easy installments. Lots of people wonder what they would do if the world is ending. Our story might not be normal, but I learned some important life lessons. Tim Kennedy's abs are to die for. That was a pun for you, the audience. Also, JT will never get laid. And killing zombies was actually pretty easy. Thanks, Global War and Terror. And most importantly, love is the most powerful emotion. And Rocco, well, he found love in a hopeless place. Baby, come back.
hell. Last night I got so drunk off the ale, passed out, woke up inside of a cell with my military buddies, got a break out of jail. Out of the box, no, you cannot just lock us in. Do the debauchery, you know my squad is the only real option. These people have got in these last things, we stop in the zombie apocalypse. Bowed it. We are so bowed, it's why they're so vicious and smell like gunpowder. Black rap for coffee, we drinking less legal and peeing out freedom, yeah, all of us rowdy. Rowdy. One of you rowdy. Oh. Run if you rowdy, if you against us, you must be a zombie, so look for some brains, hit your mind, you are out. Let's party, I love it when the ladies getting naughty, and my squad is on, yeah, crunch like a crunch, crunch like a crunch, crunch like a crunch, crunch like a crunch. Soldier at a movie. He said, Wanna help my team kill zombies? I let you get credit at the ending. I said, Hell yeah, I got the automatic flow. Give me any folk, silver bullet, any of it smoke. Hit his witchcraft. Way I turn a zombie to a ghost. I'm the hitman, Nick Pomachana. Tell me who to toast. Tell me who to roast. Yeah, I got a boat sighting on a target and I see him right through the scope. Down trigger pulling, putting bullets in a zombie dome. And I'm on a roll, zombie falling like a domino. Best to know not to mess with those retro folk. Highly trained few professionals that came to make a scene. That's art 15. Ranger up, Ross P. This is range 15. I love it when the ladies get naughty And my squad is on yeah. Crunch like a crunch Crunch like a crunch Crunch like a crunch Crunch like a crunch fucking world would let you keep your job, but I'm fired again. If you want, I can always get you a job as a janitor at the all-girls college I work at. Why didn't we think of that before? <laughs> Consider it done. 